Hi, I'm Claire, and I'm from Celo. Celo is an open platform for fast, secure, stable digital payments. Celo's mission is to build a monetary system that creates the conditions for prosperity for all. It's about creating the financial tools that will help people self-actualize. We know there's still a lot of people in the world who don't have access to the basic financial instruments that could help them out of poverty. That is a sound currency and property rights. And Celo aims to enable this. Celo also aims to connect people to one another through the financial system, and especially those who aren't part of that system today. So you're probably wondering, well, that sounds great, but what does it really mean? And how does this turn into something tangible? I'd like you to meet Amani. He's from South Sudan and lives in a refugee camp in northern Kenya. Like another 1.7 billion people in the world, he has no bank account. He's also lost all of his savings due to the high inflation rate of the Sudanese pound. And in any case, he had to leave these behind when he ran away, along with his identity papers. But he does have one thing, and that is a mobile phone with a data connection. Amani also has a brother who is lucky enough to emigrate abroad and who would like to help him financially. But getting money to him is not an easy task. There are essentially two solutions today. The first, they could use remittance services. But these take huge cuts, up to 10% of the value transferred. And furthermore, they're not necessarily well represented in remote areas. Alternatively, they could use a local mobile currency. In Kenya, that would be M-Pesa. But that would require Mani's brother to have a local SIM card, which he doesn't have. And in addition, to subscribe to such services, Amani needs identity papers, and his UNHCR ones aren't recognized. So this is more important than ever, because we're seeing three global trends that could change the narrative. The first is an increase in mobile penetration, both in terms of the Android operating system, as well as 3G data connectivity. The second is the growth of adoption of digital money, whether that is be mobile money, like M-Pesa, or cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, which are becoming more mainstream. And lastly, we're seeing an explosion of social payments and cash transfer programs. So we saw this, and we thought, why not build a mobile-first crypto asset solution that could cater to people like Amani? not just in Africa, but across the world. And that is how Celo came to be. And more specifically, Celo is a full stack solution that is composed of the following three elements. The first, it's a social mobile wallet. Think what's up for money. And if there's one thing to remember from this presentation, it's this. It's that Amani and his brother can now exchange value globally in seconds using just their phone numbers. No need to deal with hexadecimal, complicated cryptographic addresses or slow and expensive services. In addition, there's another benefit. Amani doesn't need to pre-install the wallet to start receiving value. His brother can initiate a transaction, and those digital assets will remain in escrow until Amani validates himself. Once he proves that he has access to the phone number where those assets sit, they will get released. Now, this wallet is built on what brings me to the second part of what makes Celo. And that is an open platform composed of an identity protocol, a stable mechanism, which is used to keep the digital assets stable in value, and an underlying cryptographic network, such as Ethereum. My hope is in the long term, everyone would be using Celo, not just for digital payments, before building services on top of this open platform. And lastly, Celo is also a verification app. Anyone with a mobile phone can download this app and start earning Celo rewards by participating in the identity protocol of the open platform. And that identity protocol it was used by Amani to prove that he owned the phone number where the digital assets were sitting waiting for him. 
Which brings me onto a part of the protocol that I'm particularly passionate about, and that is the decentralized lightweight mobile identity solution. Now, I won't go into the details of how it works, which is presented in the slide here, but there are a couple things to take away. The first, it allows the money and people like him to have an online identity without necessarily having the offline papers. And the second is, baked into this identity solution is Eigentrust, a peer-to-peer -peer reputation algorithm that allows the money to build his reputation the more he uses the network. And other services building on top of Celo can then use that, reputa uh, that reputation to cater to a money. So whilst all these solutions are really nice, they're not much use unless they land in the hands of the people who could do with them. So how is Celo thinking of go to market? The first is in the technology itself, and thinking of the protocol design in such a way that the native Celo tokens are distributed in as a fair and inclusive manner as possible. The second is through partnerships. Oh. That is, working hand in hand with the people who are already catering to the individuals who could benefit the most from Celo, whether that be startups, nonprofits, or international ex organizations. And in fact, I'm particularly thrilled to announce that Celo has just entered into collaboration with the World Food Program and will be exploring opportunities together. And lastly, to conclude, there's a positioning. No one wants to use a service for the poor. You, I, people like Amani, we turn to brands for aspiration and for hope. So whilst I may have told you a, cello, a story of Celo, the story that Amani may have here may actually be different, presented in a different lens, a lens that resonates with him and the 1.7 billion people like him. So that's Celo in a nutshell, an open platform for fast, secure, stable digital payments. If you'd like to know more, or if you have ideas, do come say hi. We'd love to meet you. I'm here on behalf of our diverse team that sits between San Francisco and Berlin. Thank you.